What's up guys? Kelly here at Kid Squid Studios. As you may or may not know, a few months ago I had been tracked down by a number of friends of mine from when I was a teenager. Uh, and come to find out, one of them actually lives here in Florida. I live on the bay side. They live on the Atlantic side, about three minutes from the beach. When we found that out, he said, dude, get your nalgas in the car. So I did. I packed my stuff and I hit the road. I'm actually driving to the other coast of Florida right now, to Edgewater, to hang out with one of my best friends growing up, um, Alan. Use the left lane to take exit 37 for Florida 407 toward I-95 North Titusville. It's pretty freaking mind blowing uh, to think that you're gonna see people that you haven't seen in almost 20 years. So we made it, I'm a little nervous, but excited. So we'll see how all this goes. I didn't take a whole lot of video while I was there. I really focused on reconnecting with an old friend, uh, which was really the point of going over there. I'm just sharing some of the story with you. A crap ton of stuff can fit in 20 some odd years, and that's how long it had been since we had seen each other. So we ended up talking from about two o'clock in the afternoon when I got there, all the way to three o'clock in the morning. And we were so pumped full of adrenaline that we were like, you know what, we've got to chill, let's watch some YouTube. And we did, we watched some YouTube and snuggled with the piggies. Those dogs are so much fun. They are adorable and ridiculous. We actually calmed down enough that we could actually go to sleep. So we got two or three hours worth of rest. <laughs> Bright and early the next morning, uh, we went out and I went boosting and got some coffee in me. All right, good morning. We are still out here on the other coast, uh, Edgewater. Florida and we ended up talking and chilling to like 5 30 in the morning or something like that but I'm still gonna roll over to the beach grab some footage over there it's gonna be beautiful and he was still waking up and pulling his stuff together and he finally came out and was like let me try that thing man he jumped on it boosting is weird compared to regular skateboarding but I think he's gonna be full-blown skating really really soon here which would be awesome after we played with the boosted board for a few minutes, boom, we took off and went to the beach and I got to test this baby out in a new environment, which is the beach. You know, you've got all the sand, you've got the sun reflecting off the sand and it's all bright and the water and all this stuff. And how do you function with the lens and with the ISO and the shutter speed and all that stuff? at the beach when you're trying to get things at different speeds, like people when they're walking versus a bird flying. Hang on, every time I start talking, big ass trucks go by and are like rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> Yeah, like that. So I started out with the Tamron 28 to 200 for the first leg of this journey. So the opening scene of this episode was actually shot right when we got to the beach. And while I was shooting his car, uh, this cat rolled up to me and was like, dude, are you taking video of this car? You think you could take some shots of me in my car? And I was like, sure, why not? So I turned around, I shot some video, and I shot a few photos of the guy. Now, it was a banging car, but I don't know if I'd drive it to the beach like that. Uh, I know my luck, I would get it stuck. By the way, how cool is it that you can drive your cars down on the beach like that? And honestly, I'd love to go take a vacation there. Wow, I think I'd like to take a vacation. Full stop. So after we rode up the beach for a while, and he was like my dolly, and I was taking pictures from a moving Jeep, uh, which is not as easy as you'd think it would be. When mom was here, um, the first year or something she came down, we were walking the beach. She loves walking up and down the beach. Surf fishing, right? You see this big red man, and I was like, what's he got? And she was like, I think he's got a shark. I think he's got a shark. I was like, he probably doesn't. Sure enough, he gets out of the water. She sees, she's like, he's got a fucking shark. Oh my God. And like, she just like drops everything she has on her person and just like runs down the beach to go see this dude with a shark. She like let her like pet it before he released it. Cause she's like loves sharks so much. So uh, she was just so excited. She's like, I get to see a shark. Oh my so then we stopped and I switched over to the Sigma 150 to 600 and we went for a walk and I thought it's the beach there's a lot of space out here so I think starting at 150 millimeters 
uh, as your widest is plenty fine. Like, you're not going to be able to get too close to most things, so why have that kind of lens as opposed to let's have that 600 millimeters to really reach out there and really take some pictures of things that are far away. Or to really utilize your foreground elements and get some really deep dimension going. So check out this bird. It was acting all normal and stuff, and then I went up and started taking pictures of it, and it looked at me and then started scratching its head and making these feathers go boop, 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 boop. Instant David Bowie. It's a heavy lens. So on the way back up the beach, I switched over to the SLR Magic 75 millimeter. And it did okay. There were some shots like I got of Alan here. Those were decent. Uh, really messy with that little tiny slice of focus. Uh, was not the easiest of things. Uh, in a jumping, bouncing Jeep. So we stopped at this little dive bar and had a few crab cakes. Went back to his house, I packed up and I came on home. I know it was less than 48 hours that I had spent away from the house and away from responsibilities. It felt like I had taken a four or five day vacation. It was immeasurable how much it did for my well-being. Uh, I was able to come back, get to work, really get shit done. I will definitely be making time to hang out with my old new homie and be bringing you guys along on some of our adventures. He is excited to actually be part of the channel. I really think he's going to start skating again. Like, he, I saw this little glint in his eye. In the next episode, we will be analyzing the pictures from this trip, as well as the lens performances in a, a little more detail. Links to purchase the A7C, lenses, tripods, and so much more are in the description section down below, along with a link to my DA account where you can see the finished, edited versions of my photography. Please, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll see you right back here at Kid Squid Studios where it all comes together. Until next time, stay safe, keep creative.